up everyone on YouTube. Today I'm trying to do that new PlayStation 4 remote play on my laptop computer right here. So I'm on the same network and my PlayStation 4 is just chilling over there. I'm running into a problem, wondering if you all are running into the same problem. Okay, the problem is whenever I try to connect the remote, here's my remote, I'm about to connect it. By the way, you can connect it without this cable here because what happens when I push this, when I push the connect button, watch what happens. Right here and up there, you can't really see it too well, but watch, I'm, I'm going to push it, boom, I'm pushing it, it's synchronizing. Look at this, watch. I can switch it like that so I can play with it without it being connected. But up there, see, it does the same thing. So let's set, because I, I needed to activate the controller. Now it's activated. Now I'm going to log into my account here. So I'm going to press the X button here. Watch this. Watch me press the X button. Boom. Pop back in. And it locks up on me. It happens every time. And I was just wondering if you all are experiencing the same thing. I'll do it again. Watch this. We're going to start it, right? What? No, you know what? We'll even hook it up. Do it the right way that they say we're supposed to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and hook this up real quick. Boom, it's hooked up like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and press start over here. Alright, so it's connecting. My PlayStation 3 is over here just chilling. Okay, here's the light. Okay, so it's connected. Alright. Actually, you know what? It works a little bit better now. I can't believe that. It works better now. I don't know what the heck just happened. Hmm. I fixed it. Okay, well here's the deal. Here's the thing. It can work without this controller being connected. But I think when I do that, I create a, a problem. And so therefore it shuts down. 